the Next Level Loan Officers podcast. To learn more about Next Level Loan Officers, go to becomenl.com. Hello, everyone. Sean Zalmanoff here with your Next Level Loan Officers podcast, the number one podcast for loan officers by loan officers. I am joined today by a really special guest and uh, and what Linda does is incredibly near and dear uh, to, to my heart as my family uh, does this sometimes, but, but not permanently. And man, Linda, the life you get to live is, is just absolutely amazing. Uh, friends, next level family, first time listeners, please welcome Linda Shinpa to our podcast. Linda, how are you today? Thank you, Sean. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. So Linda runs a mobile branch. I guess you have an address somewhere because we all need an address somewhere. Yep. Uh, but uh, you live a life on the road uh, with your husband and children. And you've been doing this for, for how many years now, Linda? Just over six. Just over six. Just a few years on the road. Um, <laughs> yeah. We, we uh, my, my family and I got to do it for a little over a month uh, when school was canceled um, or, or went virtual uh, with COVID in 2020, but uh, right. we haven't made that step to, to make that permanent. And you yes. not only have, have a team that run produces loans for you, but, but you're a manager running a, a team of other loan officers and very successfully doing this uh, from the comfort of, well, are you in the new one yet? Nope. It- we're, we're in our, our current rig yeah, for actually less than a week. On, on uh, So today is Wednesday, and on Monday, we're dropping this rig off to the new owners, and then we're, we're switching. So we're going to continue this lifestyle in, in doing work and life from the road. Well, you you got uh, an old correctional facility border crossing rig, right? <laughs> that you uh... Yeah, yeah. We, we've got we were we lucked into a, a an older prevost uh, that had been used exactly as you said. Uh, they wouldn't let us look at it until they got all the steel and the cages out uh, from the inside. <laughs> I, I don't think it was really anything crazy, but uh, but they didn't want us to see it in that condition. So basically, we we have a a 45 foot bus that, that was just an empty shell, and so we're building it out to to fit our family, our growing kids. They, they just won't quit growing. My son and daughter are super tall and they don't fit in these bunk beds anymore. So, uh, and building out a little bit better workspace for me too. Uh, after after doing work and life and, and school and everything that we do on the road for six years, uh, we have a pretty good idea of what we need and what we don't. So that, that's been a really fun project. I'm looking forward to, to making that transition in the next 30 days. So, so just so people understand, I, I want to get into the ATMs and, and how you're running your business, but like, we always like to ask uh, our guests, what are the back of your baseball card stats? So like, you know, where were you a few years ago? Where are you now? Tell us about your team and, mm-hmm. and the number of loan officers that you're managing and how, well, we'll get into a minute, how you're doing all this from virtually from yeah. the road. Yeah, no problem. So I've been in the industry 20 years and I started originally because my husband, he's been in the business almost 25. So he was four or five years into his career as a real estate broker and was not happy with the service he was getting from his loan officer. Uh, His market was growing at the time and his loan officer wasn't scaling her business to keep up with him. And so uh, as, as most of us mortgage professionals know, you know, a lot of the clients look back to the realtor. They spend so much time with them. They're in the car, they're having lunch They're, You know, they'll spend weeks and, and actually this year they're spending months, right? Trying to find the right house. And so that the realtor really becomes the pivot point of the transaction. So my husband was, you know, getting mud on his face uh, for no fault of his own. So that's what drew me into the business. One day he looked at me and said, why aren't you my loan officer? And I have a background in finance and marketing. And so uh, my brain just worked this way and it was a perfect fit. Um, I, I, was, uh, I was a producing loan officer for about eight years, eight, nine years. And then I went home to be with our kids for a handful of years. Um, in 2016, I reopened my branch. Again, my husband looked at me and said, all right, those lenders did a good job for the last 
five years or so, he said, but it's happening again, Linda, it's happening. My agents are coming to me. We're having issues again. And I said, okay, here's the deal. <laughs> We're getting ready to embark on this adventure. We're going to go on the road um, as a family. And, and I had gotten my work level down to like 10 hours or less a week, Sean. I was like, yes. <laughs> and, and I said, all right, I'll help you, but I can't be the producing loan officer this go around. You know, we've got these two kids and we, in the lifestyle that we're going to live, um, I have other things on my plate. And so I'll gladly mentor, train, manage, teach, lead um, somebody to help your team. And so that was my innocent re-entry to the mortgage world in 2016. And since then, um, we have grown. It'll be it'll be six years in June that I reopened. So literally went from zero, right? Six years ago, uh, my first year back in the business, I, the, the company that I was with did not uh, do any of the things that they said that they would. So that whole first no year, way. Was just, it was just a kick in the butt the whole, the whole year. It was really tough. Um, I felt really beat up. Um, but I got a PhD in a side of the business that I didn't really know existed because I had, I had been a mortgage brokerage business most of the time when I was producing and really was calling all the shots. So, so I saw a side of it that I hadn't seen before and I'm thankful for it. Definitely thankful yeah. for it. Um, so really I would say in the last five years, not six years, uh, because that whole year was just, just couldn't get any traction. Um, so we went from doing, you know, four five, six, can we get to 10 units a month to, you know, a, a normal month for us right now is almost 30 units. So that's a normal month for us. Um, the last three years, just to give you some perspective in 2019, we did 30 million in 2020, we jumped to 57 million. And last year we did 78 million. So we helped 307 families as a branch last year. Nice. Very and nice. I do, and I do not produce. I do not produce. So, you know, I'm a little unique in that I'm not this highly producing branch manager uh, with, a, you know, some LOs behind me picking up some of my scraps or doing what they're doing. Um, I do have some business that I hand out, but it, it's not like your business, right? Where you're, you've got the, a big lion's share of it. Um, so it's really cool. I've got a lot of amazing people on my team. You had asked how many loan officers I actually have it written down here because I have one, two, three, four, five, five and a half loan officers, right? We've got a couple loan partners that support all of the loan officers. Um, we have our own processor. And last year it was, uh, it was amazing. I got to promote two people, to, one to sales manager and one to ops manager. So we're at a place in our branch right now where we're really functioning um, as a business and it's not just linda and the team it's linda some managers one over ops one over sales and then um, everybody's playing their part really well it's awesome and do you mind sharing the ages of your kids because i just have a point to yeah uh my son just turned 15 this weekend and got his learner's permit he drove us home from the dmv monday so i have a 15 year old and a 12 but she's super close to 13 so yeah so I just wanted to make that point because I think what a lot of people think, you know, uh, my boys are six and eight now, so they were four and six ish when when we were on the road, and mm -hmm. it's weird that they were that that that, that was that long ago already. Right. Uh, but you know, Linda's not a thing. A lot of people think when oh, when somebody's doing this, they, their kids aren't in school or they're doing this with you know boys my kids age versus. Uh, two teenagers that, that, that you have right now and how it's possible. You know, you mentioned earlier when you first started talking just about the scale and how to scale your business. And, you know, as we are in a, a more challenging time in the market than we've been in in the last couple of years, there is no more important time in the history of your business than, than right now as you were listening to this to make sure your scale is set up. So like Linda, I've been doing this for, for 20 years. January 2nd of 2002 was my first day in the mortgage business. And, um, you know, you mentioned having about five years experience with on your current run because of the, the, the first year. Um, right. You know, I, I have like 12 or 13 years experience because I did a <laughs> lot of Groundhog's Day for my first six or seven years in the business as well, too. But so I've, I've seen a lot of these cycles and this is my fourth or fifth cycle of 
oh man, the sky's falling and, w- and what's going to happen. Every time the sky falls, the sun shines again, and there is a massive boom on the other side. Uh, maybe one that uh, that's even bigger um, it, for for at least a short span than we've experienced uh, with these last couple of years, because every single person who's buying a house right now uh, will be able to, to refinance in the future. Because it's not like rates just went up a point. I mean, we all know rates are up two and a half, three points in a very very short time. So when they drop. There, there is another app that another opportunity for all of us and scale is, is the number one thing. It's, it's been fantastic that you've been able uh, to promote a couple people uh, within the, the last few years and, and how you're able to do this. So, so talk about from a management on the road standpoint, mm-hmm. what are the ATMs that, that you do every day? What are the actions that matter that move the needle in your business so you can do the things you want and right. run the business you want. Right. We're super intentional about that. Um, and, and even before I go into specific ATMs, you know, one of my superpowers is just being organized and systematic and consistent. And so I've been able to take a lot of brand new people in the business and get them to where, you know, one of my guys last year did 40 of our 78 million. He, he came to me about five years ago and didn't even have his license yet, didn't even live in our state. And so that's my superpower, our strengths, systems, processes. And, and that's why, you know, I th- that's why this works so well for me. You know, you alluded to being on the road and having children. And yet I, we, I've actually homeschooled them since they were um, school age. That wasn't something I dreamed about doing. It's just something that <laughs> revealed itself to, to us. And, and again, being consistent and systematized and you know they know what to do every single day um, and that's why we can pull this this lifestyle off in what we do um, my actions that matter change over time in fact i just hold back an action that matter onto my plate monday uh, my sales manager and i sat down and it was uh, a year review with him and he he is crushed 19 of the 20 things on his list and that last thing is something that he can do, but he doesn't love to do. He could be good at it, but he doesn't love to do. And so when we're looking at actions that matter, we're looking at what are things that you like to do, you're good at, and make you the most amount of money. And that one thing just doesn't fit in his box. It fits beautifully in my box. And it'll probably take me 30 to 45 minutes a week to do that uh, for our team instead of leaving it there on his list. And so, you know, we're always reevaluating those, at least on a 90 day basis. Um, But the things that I do that make a huge difference, because in addition to our nomadic lifestyle, my team is remote. When I reopen, um, I mostly started back in the area in Florida where I'm from. Uh, But then we placed an ad for a loan partner and when we got down to it, the person that was the best fit lived in Arkansas. And we said, how in the world did she reply to our Central Florida lit, you know, job listing? But, you know, good for her. She found it, right? She, she was looking and, and she found us. And my husband and I looked at each other and said, why does it matter where she lives? Because it, it doesn't matter where we live. Oh, and doesn't. so, yeah, so now I have 14 people from Florida to Alaska uh, on my team. And so the actions that matter in my world as a, as a branch manager, and then especially with this remote lifestyle and, and, and uh, employees on my team being remote is uh, Monday through Thursday morning, we huddle at 830 Eastern Standard Time. That is probably the single greatest ATM that I do. Um, our culture is super important to us. Uh, before I even spend a time formally interviewing somebody, I will send over the core values so they can see who we are and what we stand for. Uh, because that's that's really what you're going to get every day in our in our branch. And so keeping everybody engaged, helping them to not feel like they are on an island. Um, those Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning calls are so important. And Sean, on Monday morning, we just take about 15 minutes and say, how was your weekend? And everybody goes around the room and says what they did. But we don't have a, co- a, a coffee pot and a water cooler and we can't chit chat in the hallways. Mm-hmm. And so that allows us just to have a connection as a team uh, because it's so much more than about the mortgage file. Right. We, we, we spend a lot of time together and we want to want to enjoy that time and get to know each other. So I'm super intentional about our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning calls and the topics that we cover at each of those. 
Um, they're very meaningful. Everybody enjoys it. I don't have stragglers. Everybody's there when we just, you know, we start on time, we connect, and then everybody goes about their business. Um, I then, I still do one-on-ones with every person on my team. I don't do them as frequently as I used to because my ops manager is, you know, takes over the day-to-day activities on the ops side. So she's meeting with those people uh, on a regular basis and same thing with my sales manager. Um, but I intentionally make time for my people. Um, so, a couple of them once a week, a couple of them twice a month and everybody's on my calendar at least once a month. Um, so, and for me, being very organized and uh, you and I talked about this before, you know, I know you have blocks in your schedule, you'll make those calls. I've got to have that time scheduled or else I get chasing something or they're in the middle of the file and we never connect. So for, for me, just being really scheduled and disciplined with my time and my routine, um, you know, th- those are the biggest things that I do. And then, then the, the last, uh, you know, if I pick three, the, the third ATM that I'm focused on right now is just really growing our branch. Uh, you know, casting, I would say casting the vision, although when you're, when you're non-producing, you're just helping the folks on your team realize their vision and pushing them a little further than maybe they thought they could go and showing them what they're really capable of. Um, But, but I'm also, you know, recruiting and meeting people and um, staying on top of industry topics and then bringing that information back to my team. So it's, it's a fun place to be. Um, I've enjoyed the transition for sure. It, it, it is a great place to be. You know, I was, it's been seven or eight years since I, since I've signed my name to a loan application, right. but, right. uh, you know, that's what I did day in and day out for years. But, you know, my, my biggest ATM is, uh, is right up there with what yours was and it, and it's meeting, uh, with my sales team on, we, we, we have a weekly meeting, a group meeting together. And then we also, um, almost all of them I, I meet with, uh, on a weekly or other weekly basis, some of them just need a once a month, once a month touch in because because uh, that's just where they're at right now. But yep. that is, you know, I have a region that the we're, we're over three hundred million for several years in a row, and uh, we we continue to grow. It's been an exciting time in the business. You know, we're we're investing in key parts of our business right now as the market's contracting and and bringing on some key people in, in social media and videography that uh we're we're bringing on to the team because I, I just want everybody to understand who's listening to this like you know when 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 times get tough uh winners win and losers sit on the sideline and, and look at winners and it's been easy for a couple of years guys now is the time where you can truly take your business to the next level you know whether you're a loan officer that's that's starting out and you know you're looking and you want to run a 300 million dollar region or you want to run a branch that's doing 60 or 70 million or you're just looking to get from one loan to three loans or four loans a month because of the impact that that it will have and change in your family's life you know we have a free strategy session for you all you have to do is go to nlstrategycall.com You'll get on with one of the coaches. We'll help you break down a few things in your business uh, so, so you can see the light. And if it works for you, you get plugged into next level. It's only $197 a month. There is no coaching platform on the planet that is delivering as much value for the price that, that we are getting. And we've been talking to some loan officers recently that I know some of you are out there, you're paying 1000 or $2,000 a month for coaching. I'm just telling you, you're, you're going to get more at $197 a month with us than, than you'll get in those platforms. And if you do need some one-on-one coaching, we, we can offer that for you too. But guys, find your tribe, plug in. Don't do what everybody else is doing. The sky is not falling. Unfortunately, as much as this business, we, you know, we want to provide value and be great and do all these things, but we're in a commoditized business. When rates are up, there aren't refinances. You cash out refinances, a few people getting married or divorced that, that need to for one reason or the other. But the, we are commoditized business. But when times get challenging, they're, they're not challenging. It's a time to invest. It's a time to grow. And it's a time to be better. Because just, you know, Linda, I don't know how it was with you over the last couple of years, but it was hard to get a lot better when 
business was just raining out of the sky and we were doing everything we could just to close it. Yeah, you know, because I had a little bit younger team with some newer LOs, we, we only had about 10% of our business be refinances. So our shop has been super strong as a purchase shop. But yeah, I mean, it was there was definitely more people coming in and that 10% was great, right? The, the, the folks on my team, they really took advantage of the couple of years they'd been in the business and the, you know, the database calls, the SOIs, their activities that matter, right? Their actions that matter. And so, um, but you're absolutely right, Sean. It, right now if you don't if you're not staying focused on your activities and you're just worried about results you're not going to make it you can't stay in a positive mind frame looking at you know the, the last four months especially um we are super focused on the actions every day what are have you done your activities for the day being consistent in those and and i've preached that for years you know it, it's the activities that we celebrate those are the wins the results will come to your point, there's cycles. There's cycles during the year. There's cycles from you know every couple years, and if you will just show up and do your job and have a plan of attack every single day, and then go home and and feel good about that and rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat, that's what's going to make you successful. And you guys do a great job here at Next Level, between the Monday and the Wednesday calls and the mastermind events. And like you said, if you need more, you can always schedule and, and pay for however much one-on-one -on -one coaching you want. Um, but you do a really great job of talking about things that are meaningful today, right? And and sometimes the topics repeat, but because they need to repeat, it, there's nothing new in what we're doing. It's just, like you said, figuring out what are those ATMs that you need to do, because yours are different from mine, different from Every person on my team, they're slightly different mm -hmm. uh, and they and they can change over a course of time. But getting laser focused on that and then being around like minded people, um, just listening to your podcast, you know, listen to the, the, the coaching on on a Monday and a Friday. And then Ashley does a great job with the ladies group. I, I haven't um, been able to attend the last two months, but I really enjoy that, too, because there's some different dynamics that we talk about. It's just nice to have that community to hear that you're not alone in what's going on out there and to be able to ask questions and get real answers. So I appreciate what you guys are doing. And it's, um, I've been a part of those groups that were way more expensive per month. And, um, you know, I I'm getting everything I need right well, now. But the power's in the group. Like, I mean, yeah. it's great in everything that we do, but we have hundreds of members and lots of people sharing the ideas that are that are working in their market. I've, I've got a really cool flyer. Linda, make sure you check the Facebook page later today uh, that breaks down what average lenders, what great lenders and, and what people like you and I do for our clients. That is a great thing to get in front of people right now uh, to really express what it's like to, to choose a lender who's at the top of their game. And, and friends, I just want to leave you with, with one thought. And that, that thought is, is what you focus on multiplies. So if you surround yourself with winners who are focused on winning, that will multiply and, and you will win. And if you focus on people who are being dragged down by the market or negative self-talk, you will find many of those people and you will focus on that. And Linda and I will be here in a few years and, and we appreciate your market share. So thank you for giving that to us if that's what you choose to do. But you always have the choice to make that difference. Linda, thanks so much for joining us today and being a member of Next Level. Friends, family, listeners, we appreciate all of you who plug into this on a weekly basis. We will see you on the other side. Peace out, y'all. Thanks, Sean.